Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another fun one here. Three box break of Fanatics Underwrapped Autograph Baseballs. Random player break number two, seven. One spot gets you nine players and one person is gonna get the any and all multi-signed baseball spot. So there's the list right there. Let's gather everybody's names. It's just easier to multiply this by nine here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So each list will on the randomizer will have 171 items. Let's get your names into the first list here. And let's get this group into the second list right over there. And let's roll it and randomize names and player names. We'll put the results here. Three and a five. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth and final time. After eight, we got a couple Jeremy's all the way down to Eugene. Three and a five, eight times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Pete Alonzo all the way down to Ichiro. Get your thinking caps on, ladies and gentlemen. We, we will do do a little Who Am I as well, America's favorite game. All right. So like always, we're going to show you just the list as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see all your players grouped together. Look at that. Eugene with the any and all multi-signed autograph baseball spot. So thanks, everybody, for getting in. There will be a little trade window. That trade window also a chance to see... Your players all grouped together if, if need be. And there we go. Let's go back to the top. It's alphabetized by your first names. All right, so Alan, there's your group of players right there. Brian Croft, that group right over there. Eugene has a bunch of... Bunch of uh, spots here, bunch of players here. There's one, first group, next group, and the last little bit right there. Haley, there are your players right over there. James. Jeremy. Right up to there. And then Josh, there's your group, group of players over here. Steve Locke. Steve Locke's last spot mojo players. It's a good draw. Trevor has the rest right there. There you go, gang. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So let's see, uh, let's see how quickly you can guess the first player. Guess what? It's a multi-signed baseball. It's two autographs. I think you should be able to guess both of them. So congrats, Eugene, with the any and all multi-signed baseball spot. Everyone knows those two autos, right? Who do we got there? They are Mets. That's Pete Alonzo. That's David Wright. Got the Fanatic sticker here, the MLB 
logo sticker there. Pete Alonzo and David Wright for Eugene. Nice, good start. Next up, all right, we got a single auto here. We have a uh, a right-handed pitcher with a lifetime. 130 wins to 71 losses, a 3-2-3 lifetime ERA. It's pretty good. A little over 1,900 strikeouts, a 1.1 whip. Played for three teams my entire career. A five-time All-Star, two-time All-MLB first team. AL ERA leader, two-time MLB strikeout leader, and a one-time AL wins leader. It's pretty good. This guy gonna be a Hall of Famer? Is this guy on Hall of Fame trajectory? He could. He needs to knock out like a Cy Young or two. I think that would definitely uh, that would definitely help. Went to college at uh, UCLA. And he was drafted first overall by the Pirates back in 2011. Who am I? It's a pretty good draft class, too. Yep, Trev and Steve's got it. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, future Hall of Famer. There it is. There's all your stickers right there. I think he's on that trajectory, right? He's 32 already. But if he gets to, like... I don't know, what milestones would he have to hit? You know, maybe 3,000 strikeouts, maybe 200 plus wins. Something like that. But maybe maybe a Cy Young or two could be, could be nice. All right, so there's the Garrett Cole card in there too. That's for Jeremy Port. There you go, Jeremy. All right, third one. We got another uh, another three in the store, boys and girls, so check it out. All right, we got another uh, active pitcher. Another good one, too. Um, who am I? A right-handed pitcher with a win-loss record of 78 and 62, 3-6 ERA, and 1,380 strikeouts. Played for one team my entire career, a one-time All-Star, and then a one-time appearance on the All-MLB second team. Um, has a record of most consecutive strikeouts in a game, 10, which ties him with Tom Seaver and Corbin Burns. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I think. Did he go to LSU? I think he went to LSU. Yeah, he, he went to LSU and then was drafted seventh overall in the 2014 MLB draft.
drafted by the Phillies, seventh round. Uh, not seventh round, first round by the Phillies, seventh overall in the 2014 MLB draft. Still with the Phillies. So who's an all-star pitcher for the Phillies? I'm carving out a really, really nice career. Shane Boz, not a Philly. Aaron Nola is a Philly. That's right, Steve. That is Aaron Nola. That ball goes to Haley. Good, great penmanship from Aaron Nola. There are the stickers right there. There's the card in there. There you go, Haley. New Gal Mojo right there. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Uh, maybe we'll do another three later tonight. jazbeescasebreaks.com.